nice chowder. for a hike in Mount Rainier National Park. Yes. Feel safe around here. Uh oh. <laughs> Hiker, biker side only. The state parks usually have hiking trails as well. Just can't help wondering whether there will be a cougar or black bear behind the next bush but we talked with a man yesterday who's been living in the mountains and rural areas for quite some time and he has only seen the mountain lion once in his life from a distance so it's pretty unlikely for us to encounter a mountain lion. It's a rainbow trout. Mm. He's got that kind of a coloring right along the side. Yeah, cool, beautiful fish. Yeah, they're good eating too. They're like <laughs> salmon. Nice. So on average, there are about two or three cars in the garden. You see two over there and one behind the bush. Then they have a trailer for the horses, camper, and another camper. So plenty of vehicles, motorized vehicles, of course. to Twin Harbor State Park. <laughs> Irish man struggles with bike. Today cycling on Highway 105 has been really good. Big shoulder, smooth tarmac, little traffic. So that's great. We're on our way to Raymond and then Bay Center. We found a campsite in Raymond. Uh, we just talked with a few nice people. They say this is a timber logging city. Now it's become pretty poor because the logging has moved to bigger ports. But um, yeah, will be our place for this night. 
pretty nice. Good spot, huh? bike path that's separated from the motorway. So the main industries here along the coast in Washington, it's either lumber, wood or fishing and a lot of oysters. I think these are just the shells. I don't know why they store them like this over here, but you can see uh, that it's a big business here. So Tim, what are we having for lunch? Uh, corn tortillas with chili with beans, uh, avocado and tomato. Yummy! Mm. It's pretty tough climbing. <laughs> we haven't found any bears or cougars yet. Wonder if they really are here. Cougar, 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 cougar. We're ah! entering the park. We made it to the Columbia River, separating Washington from Oregon. Behind us is the bridge to Astoria. Steep. I contacted a guy named Steve via warm showers and he said he's not at home but we can use his refuge, bicycle refuge. Look how awesome! Yeah, super cool! and generosity. We had a great stay in Astoria. Thank you, we really enjoyed it. Big ass camper with a car and a quad behind it. Beaver. <laughs> we made it all the way up here, cycling, and look at the view. It's stunning.
Yeah. 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 Oh, sure. We stayed at Nihalem State Park. It's like about 70 to 80 kilometers again. 80. And we met some Canadians. Most of them retired. We're on a bike tour as well from Vancouver to San Francisco. It's nice meeting them. And now we just went for a walk on the beach. And some other campers are looking after our bikes. Some friendly people from Oregon. Taking the trail to the hiker and biker sides of Cave Lookout State Park. It's really cool already. Cheers. Cape Lucas State Park is awesome. We're like, we'll put up our tent in the forest here, and then we we can actually see the ocean from our tent. cycle on this type of secondary roads absolutely dead silent except for the sounds of nature some birds our wheels rolling makes it so much more enjoyable than being on the highway with those traffic in most state parks got a grill trash bin tap for water and a campfire place. At Devil's Lake State Park, they've even got a bicycle repair station. You can hang your bike up here. Get some tools, pump, and these boxes to store your food against raccoons and stuff. And power station. So these are USB connections. Ready to roll again? Almost, almost <laughs> ready. I'll be last as always. <laughs> <laughs> Trina, ready? <laughs> Seen quite a few of these. When you have seven cameras. You guys, you're just disorganized. Everybody wants to make a group picture. <laughs> We're doing the perfect framing on our shot here. <laughs> We 
We need to cross this bridge from Newport to South Beach State Park. The park should be on that side, next to the ocean. Tuesday, the 14th of May, it started raining. We'll be raining for the coming next days. Cycling from Gold Beach to Harris Beach State Park. And now we have to climb up Cape Sebastian. It's a few hundred feet, I believe. You may not believe it, but we're still enjoying it. Tonight we're staying at uh, Harris Beach State Park, and tomorrow we'll cycle to Preston City. I believe we're welcome to stay at a church. So that's very generous again. You did it! on our way to Crescent City and I think those are the Crescent City hills that we'll have to climb tomorrow. Thank you Katie for hosting us in St. Paul's. Thank you. It was awesome. <laughs> Bye Natasha. <laughs> Bye, you too. <laughs> you too. <laughs> wow, this looks awesome. We're getting showered, but it's still magnificent here. here at Elk Prairie Campground. What a 
great place to have a resting day. Mr. Miao. Going together, right? Yeah, I'll get my uh, things. Yeah. Yeah. Him. yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's my granddaughter. <laughs> Homebrewed Hi. beer, apple cider. This Can is I the cider. Yeah. And, uh... Last night we stayed at our warm showers host, Dick Laforge. A wonderful place. And we met two French guys <laughs> Max and Arnaud. And now we're cycling together to Eureka and then our pass will split again. Okay. <laughs> so well we got uh yeah, it's We're cycling this really nice bike path out of Eureka towards Leggett. This is what cycling on the freeway looks like. Almost uh, the Avenue of Giants. That's pretty low traffic, wide shoulder, not too bad. The tree has to make way for the cables. That was a climb. <laughs> Cycling a 2.5 mile trail in the Redwood State Park on the Avenue of the Giants. It's stunning. Ancient forest with trees of over 2,000 years old. A lot of them in the age between 800 and 1,500 years old. A lot of a lot of the trees were cut for building houses for lumber and we're clearing them for making a highway but now they've been replanting a lot of trees as well Today we have to climb up the hill of Leggett, supposedly one of the hardest climbs of the Pacific Coast route. Gets up to 2,000 feet elevation. After that will be the great descent. The last bit of climbing because we're back in the ocean. Last night we stayed at Astrid's place, 
never expected to meet someone via Instagram, but we did. And Astrid and her family was very kind to us, to host us in one of their kids' uh, bedroom, who is not here. Had a barn, sailing boats, and bicycles. for hosting oh, us. Thank you. Oh, thank it's you. really, really fun meeting you guys. Oh, it has been wonderful. Thank you. Navarro River watershed. This river flows here behind me right into the ocean. <laughs> the climbing is really tough because the road always goes from those high cliffs and then all the way down to the level of the river and then all the way up again. This, these cliffs are around the small town of Elk. Okay, we met this guy Jacob from Denmark. So this is the Stillwater Cove. Now I remember. Do you like the seals? I love them! The bay at Point Reyes. about 30 kilometers north of San Francisco now. Passing through cute little towns like Ross, San Anselmo. Looks a bit Mediterranean. San Francisco.